Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to water the plants out here. Just going to uh, take the wire off on this spot right here. Okay, so the first step, if the tank is empty, we're going to have to replace it. There will be a second one here. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check the tank. If it's not, uh, swap it out. Next step is you're going to want to prime this uh, generator. If you come to the back here and press this little spring, it's going to prime this tube. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unplug these uh, electrical plugs because if it's, uh, if it's plugged in, it's not going to turn on. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this is off. When it's on, it's on the economy. The economy is using less, uh, less power. And if it's uh, off, it's going to be using full power. So you're going to want to make sure it's full power. And then you're going to want to go ahead and start your generator. It should start up pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, keep it on for a minute or two until it's fully going. Okay, the next step is going to be, because uh, this tutorial is for watering, we're going to want to plug in the red extension cord and then go to... At this point, we can go ahead and close the gate back up. Sometimes there's extra wires on the top of this right here to help lock up this gate. Just put that back on right there. Okay, so you'll come back in. There's normally a sump pump right here. Clean it off. If anything, you'll be in the middle. Come over here. You'll drop it directly into here. Just so that if for some reason this light, you turn this light on, just remember to turn it, you're gonna have to plug it back in. This red light will be the extension cord you use to turn then on that water pump. From there, you'll be able to water all the plants. And then after it's done, just uh, make sure to plug that back into the light. And then at the end of the day, you're gonna want to come back and turn that generator back on and then make sure so that the lights uh, are running for 24 straight hours at the end of the day before you take off. So to close this back up, uh, all you're gonna wanna do is just uh, grab the cloth, run the wire through it right here, grab the opposite end, put it through the plastic, Close it back up. Middle one here too. And then there is the middle one. All right close it back up. You're also going to want to make sure this uh, long piece of 4x4 is on the floor so there's no rodents to come in. And that is the end of closing up this greenhouse. Again, normally about the hours of 5 or 6 o'clock or just right before you leave really. Even if you're uh, leaving a little early, just turn the lights back on, allow them to just run. Uh, we want, uh, the, That tank needs to have be about halfway full. And if it's that, that's the case, it'll, it'll run for past the 14 and a half to 16 hours of light we need to keep it in a vegetative state.